back, Nerd Boxes, to another episode of the streaming news. And on this episode, we are talking about everything, almost everything, a little bit of everything, that is coming to Netflix in August. And my God, it is jam packed with yes. stuff. They must have expected a heat wave because they want you to stay in and watch all the stuff that they're releasing. They do. New content is through the roof. Yeah. And there's a bunch of old content. And for mm -hmm. some reason, they announced that they're putting Uncharted out again. Really? Yeah, I don't know. Wow. Why. Yeah, so mm -hmm. Uncharted. Maybe it was a hit? I, Maybe it, they got a lot of views. Uncharted came out at the end of July, and now they're saying it's coming out at the end of August. I haven't checked through our Netflix feed to see if Uncharted actually got pushed back. And then there's two mo two movies or TV series that don't have a date for August, and we're not going to talk about those just in case they come out in September. Yeah, yeah. But we are going to start with a older film that yes. we missed when it came out. We did. It stars Blake Lively. This comes out on August 1st. It is The Age of Adeline. In this fantasy romance about a young woman who learns she will live forever which complicates her love life. No, she's gonna live forever. You don't like vampires. It's not like she's a vampire. She's not a vampire. Anyway, with this film here, I'm not too keen on this one. And I don't think that it's that she's gonna live forever. It's that she is no longer gonna age. Same thing. I'm not too interested in this one. Kind of looks. I want to see it. It looks boring. I checked out halfway through the trailer because I just wasn't interested. But it is Blake Lively, and she has slowly won me over with her roles that she's had over the last few years. So I. He thinks she's hot. She's okay. Anyway. She's okay. <laughs> Compared to like regular women, yeah, okay. <laughs> so anyway, so. I may give it a chance if she throws it on, I will sit there and watch it. I'm gonna watch it. So then I guess I will watch it. <laughs> on August 3rd is Clusterfuck Woodstock 99. Yeah. And if you couldn't tell, we were around back then. And boy, was. I mean, you can tell he definitely was, right? <laughs> what? Well, that could be dying at this color. <laughs> Gray and salt and pepper's in. Yeah, no. You haven't seen his hair. We kind of lived through this. This is right around where our, our first son was born. That was like, oh man, Woodstock 99. I want to go. And I think if I remember correctly, the tickets were crazy expensive. And I was pregnant. Yeah, this is true too. Yeah. <laughs> but the tickets were crazy expensive. So it wasn't even worth going to it. And what happened is it just kind of... It was a clusterfuck. Exactly. It was horrible. I mean, there was just fights and fire and, and cars that were set on fire and flipped over and explosions. It, yeah. This turned, luckily it hasn't ruined the, the aura, the legend of Woodstock, mm -hmm. because it was about peace, love in 69, and it became about corporate greed because five years earlier they did the 25th anniversary mm -hmm. and they saw how much money it made and all this other stuff so it's like hey let's cash in on it let's do yeah. a money grab and let's have another one and let's do it every five years yep. well when you're looking just for money and you're not supplying people with the proper amount of bathrooms and water bottles and everything that they need to do to survive a three-day weekend it's gonna get a little out of hand you're gonna get the backlash and there were so many people there and that's a lot of backlash and so you know the every five year thing stopped yeah well <laughs> and it got a lot heavier too so you have the biscuit there yeah at the height of their, their career you have corn, corn yeah. yeah so mm -hmm. and you know the biscuits break stuff and stuff got broken yeah set on fire yep and a lot of other stuff so this is a documentary i am interested in watching it august 5th sandman Based on Neil Gaiman's seminal graphic novel and starring Tom Sturridge as the King of Dreams, The Sandman tells the story of Morpheus, a recently freed man who travels across dimensions to restore his otherworldly powers. This is a TV series. I am interested in it. I am not. 
Well, there's going to be another reason why you're not interested in it. This is based off of a DC character. Oh, I'm good. <laughs> but, but, but this is something, this is a part of their darker series that was out there. I think it was DC Vertical or something like that. This is a comic book series that I always purchased. I didn't purchase two books of it because I had a, a habit back then. It was a $50 a week habit, so I wasn't buying two comics of this one. I was buying them, putting them away, and buying the graphic novels because they were money, uh, they increased in value very quickly. Like I said, it is a darker series in the DC Universe, and it always intrigued me to see this character play out in the, 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 the dreamscape. And it looks like Netflix captures a lot of that real nicely here. So I am interested in checking this out. She'll have no choice because I have to watch that first movie. She'll end up watching a TV series with me. This is a TV series, so I'll end up sleeping through it. She'll like it. No, I won't. Now also on the fifth is Carter. Yes. This one we stumbled across. Just we're scrolling and there it was, so we clicked on it. A man wakes up missing his memories. Maybe it's not a bad thing, I don't know. Directed by a mysterious voice from a device in his ear, he sets off on a hostage rescue mission rife with danger. If you like the movie Upgrade or Hardcore Henry, or if you haven't checked those out, then we got a triple feature for you. Because <laughs> all those other two are great, and this one looks action packed. It is a foreign film, but yeah. man, man, this looks amazing. Compared to the stacked lineup that they have, yeah, this one may be the best one mm -hmm. of the month. It looks like it's packed full of action. I mean, it was, you know, your typical, like, I think minute and a half trailer, and it was a lot of action. Uh, it looks like it's going to be a really good watch. I actually would have preferred to see this in the theaters over the Great Man. Yeah, yeah. So, a lot of good stunt work here. But we know why the Great Man one chosen i know but this one looks like it is the better more action-packed mm -hmm. film of the two yeah so carter i am excited for it can't wait to see this one get your popcorn ready kick back and this one's going to be a, a fun ride yeah right. august 10th we're going with another foreign horror film series and it is school tales now before we talk about this this show reminds me of the 2000s J horror and K horror films that were coming out. Like this, I think of like Whispering Corridors, The Wishing Stairs, uh, another movie that I can't pronounce the title, and Memento or something <laughs> like that. But this one looks like it is packed full of chills back from when Asian horror was at its height. It looks very bloody, but it is. Asian horror so <laughs> so essentially with this this TV series takes place it's in multiple stories a lot of it's focused in schools yeah so if you've seen any of the movies that I mentioned or if you've seen movies like the phone or cello and you thought those are really good you're going to like this film it, it's not like Asian horror zombies mm -hmm. but this is essentially the ghost side of it and it looks like it is the really good ghost stories that are out there the mm -hmm. movie the eye is another one one missed call right the original ones not the horrible yeah. remakes that were made here in the states so if i have to compare it to anything that's maybe over here in the states on creep factor alone maybe insidious for the last key gets close to it maybe conjuring so if you like movies like that then you're definitely going to like checking out this TV series. I can't wait for it. We need another TV series to watch. Uh, yeah. So this will be one of them. Yeah, definitely. On August 12th comes what looks like to be the winner of the month for vampire films, and that is Day Shift. Yeah, so this is a Netflix original film, and it stars Jamie Foxx, Dave Franco, and Snoop Dogg. In a vampire movie where Fox stars as a vampire killer while under the guise of being a cleaner. This should have gone to Cinemark. Maybe it will. Hopefully. Maybe yeah, that's true. It could. I so. mean, it is 
still almost a month away, so. Uh, yeah, usually when the Cinemark gets these, they're about two weeks ahead of time. Yeah. So hopefully we'll see this sneak up on there. That would be good because we need a movie to watch. We yeah. need a killer, yeah. so. <laughs> Such a light month and movies coming yeah, up. Yeah, it is. Now, if you like Vampires vs. the Bronx, that was on Netflix last year or two years ago, you're going to like this film. Mm -hmm. If you're a fan of horror comedy, if you like Attack the Block, yeah. you're going to like this film. Mm -hmm. Jamie Foxx looks like he really delivers in this. James Franco, he's no, kind of, Dave Franco. Oh, Dave Franco <laughs> was playing a similar role that I've seen in another film, one of his films, where he's kind of like that nerdy guy that kind of screws things up. Yeah. <laughs> so I think he may even, and now you see, he may have did that as a con in one of he the did. scenes. He did. Yeah. So their chemistry on the trailer looks very good. Mm -hmm. This is going to be a fun one. It looks like it has some good action in it. And it may be one of those ones that you're like, oh man, um, I could probably see a second one of this. Yeah, yeah. I mean, from what we've seen, it looks like it's going to be uh, really funny. And there is a lot of action in it. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to this yeah. one. And I do hope that Cinemark will sneak it in there. <laughs> yeah, it's another film, like if you like Tucker and Dale versus Evil. Mm -hmm. This kind of feels like that, so yeah. definitely kick back and watch this one. This is definitely going to be a fun one to watch. Oh, yeah. All right, August 17th. My birthday. Yep. <laughs> is Look Both Ways. This is another Netflix original film that my husband doesn't want to see. <laughs> I'm iffy on it. It's, it looks a lot better than the other one. So previously known as Plus Minus, and you'll understand that if you watch the trailer, why it was Plus Minus. This movie stars Lily Reinhardt, who plays a character who gets to see her future play out in two timelines. Interesting concept. Mm -hmm. It seemed decent in the trailer. It looked like it had some good laughs in it. Yeah, I think it has some good laughs. And if you don't know who Lily Reinhardt is, because I don't, it also stars Luke Wilson. <laughs> as her father so that's yeah, different for him yeah yeah so this looks like to be one of the light harvard films of the month so yeah yeah what do you think is this the one that you're looking forward to watching did you watch the trailer yet august 26th is this the big heavy hitter that netflix is dropping because it is featuring mark Wahlberg and kevin hart but there is no trailer the movie <laughs> is me time Kevin Hart and Regina Hall star in a comedy about a stay-at-home dad who gets to have a weekend of thrills when his old buddy connects. Seems like it's on the level of daddy's home. Yeah. A little bit. Yeah. Um, I'm thinking Mark Wahlberg, Kevin Hart, they connect. One's a stay-at-home dad. I think a lot is going to go wrong this. It sounds like <laughs> There it. is no trailer, but I can almost guarantee that a lot is gonna go wrong. <laughs> this is probably the movie that is coming to the Cinemark, I bet you, for the month. I'm sure. And yeah. I'm interested to see... Could be why there's no trailer. Yeah, I guess. There was a trailer for Grey Man, though. Yeah, that's true. And that was a month yeah. early, too. So I do kind of find it interesting that there is no trailer for this, mm -hmm. but it's Kevin Hart, it's Mark Wahlberg, I'm sure they're gonna have pretty good chemistry with them. Mark Wahlberg can be really funny at times. He can be. Just look at the Daddy Home films. Mm -hmm. So even yeah. though I think one of them is just like, gets a horrible Rotten Tomato score. It does. I, I don't know. I, I thought they were both hilarious, but. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to this. It, it should be a fun time watching this one as well. Yeah, uh, you know, like we said, Netflix uh, has it hands down for August as far as uh, TV series and movies. I'm really looking forward to what they have coming out. Yeah, and here is the enormous lineup of movies that is coming out for Netflix.
was a lot of movies. <laughs> it was. It was a lot of movies. Yes. That list on the first is just ginormous. Yeah. A lot of stuff going on with Netflix for August. Mm -hmm. Now, stay tuned because I don't know if we're going to be filming some of our next stuff in front of this. But the Nerd Box Cave is just about done. And if you did not catch it over the weekend, there was the charity event hosted by the Scene Snobs where we did a lot of five things and you got to see a little bit of a sneak preview of what that looks like. So that video should be hopefully dropping before this or I ran into technical difficulties trying to rip it off of the <laughs> internet. So hopefully that will be out there. And also stay tuned because we have a lot of contests that are going to be coming up as we start our new quest. And we're prepping for Halloween, so we'll get to see a new season of Nerdbox Paranormal coming up. And a bunch of new Halloween memories from a bunch of different people that we didn't get from last year. Mm -hmm. And as always, like, subscribe, and share. Yes, and until the next, see ya. See ya.